Okay, so tell me, tell me about the candy bar story. The candy bar story. We were copying code, this Japanese code, and they weren't supposed to, and supposedly they didn't know we were doing that. So we were hiding out, hiding everything. Well, at first we had the submarine. Uh, we're in the submarine with a little small antenna that we shot up from the surface of the submarine up to the surface of the water, and that would pick up the signals. And then our submarine equipment broke down, so we moved over to uh, another place, uh, moved over to a, a ship, which I think was the El Dorado. It's so many years ago, I can't, I might be wrong, it might not have been the El Dorado, but it was, a, I thought it was a communication ship. <coughs> and it was just bristling with antennas. And of course the Japs were were trying to shoot us out of the water because they saw those antennas on there. And of course, before we with the submarine, we only had one little small spike of an antenna sticking up, so they wouldn't see it. Very, very unlikely to see it. Mm -hmm. So we got over there, and I think somebody got worried that the other auto had already, or that ship anyway, had already been uh, come very close to being. Uh, knocked out of the water by kamikazes. The kamikazes were just, the sky was just black with kamikazes. And they were, uh, so we were trying to figure out some, some way we could keep our communication going. Well, somebody got, somebody got the bright idea to move our equipment, uh, the minimal part of it, ashore. Okinawa is a big island and there's a lot of there was a lot of trees and a lot of shrubbery and stuff like that on it. Hmm. It was not like not like Iwo Jima, it was just barren. There was a lot of places for you had to hide and everything. So it wasn't just so it wasn't just sand and beach. No, 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 no. We were we were we were in, inland a little ways. We just walked, hiked in a little few, just a few feet. A few More kind of like jungle. Yeah, yeah. It was just a, it was jungle. <laughs> we walked in there, but of course the farther we got in, the worse our antenna would be, because it'd be in trees. An antenna has to be out in the open pretty much as much as possible, so so we didn't go in too far. We stayed out fairly close there. We could see our ship. It was, it was close, fairly close by. And uh, I don't even look at the map. I have no idea what end of the island we were on or anything at all. I looked, in fact, I looked at a map. Last night in a book that I had, and I couldn't, I couldn't even guess where we were. But then when we, when we put our stuff in uh, <coughs> waterproof cartons, floated them, up, floated them alongside, they'd float and float them alongside this raft, and paddled the raft into the island a half a mile or so, and. Uh, When we got in, and also our supplies, our, our, our food, and supposedly for, I don't know, two or three days or something like that, mm -hmm. was uh, in, in uh, cartons that were already waterproof. They'd been waterproofed, I think, at the factory. I think they're coated, I think they're coated with wax or something. So when we got ashore, well, it wasn't too long until we got hungry, and we decided to open the open up a, a carton and eat some of that. Of course, it wasn't going to be very good food anyway. It was just these rations, these, these K rations. Did they call them MREs back then? No. No? I saw that MRE and I don't know what it meant. <laughs> Meals ready to eat. Huh, I didn't know that. This is just K rations. It was Army. What, what does the K stand for? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, kind of bad food. <laughs> <laughs> so we opened one up, uh, opened one of them up, and all ready to dive in. And somebody said, "What is this? Is this a dessert?" And he got a layer <laughs> of candy bars. 
We went on down the entire Cartmore candy bars, and we thought, well, they can't all be candy bars. They're marked something about K ration on the outside of them. Someone already fouled up on a thing. <laughs> <coughs> and as the time went by, then we began to open all the cartons, and, every, and I, I forget how many cartons we had, uh, maybe four, five, or six. Uh, we cut them all open, and every one of them had nothing but these candy bars, and they're a baffle <laughs> bar called Baffle, B-A-F-F-L-E. Hmm. They're a very popular candy bar, and are made by the same company that made you know candy bars. You knows are all are made today, and I buy them right now. I love, I love them, and I like those baffle bars. But they were different. They were they were kind of a date filled uh, thing. They're quite a small bar, and they're kind of a date filled with chocolate all around them, <coughs> and uh, they were they're real tasty, and everybody liked them. And so when we got hungry enough, we'd eat another baffle bar, and we got sick and tired of eating, eating candy bars. Well, <coughs> I think, that, of course, the whole theory was that maybe that communication ship would get shot out of the water, and if they did, we'd be ashore and we'd have the communications for that purpose, copying the, the kind, of, kind of code, and, uh, and we, could, we could carry on just by ourselves uh, with this stuff here. But, it didn't look like we had our planes overhead all the time shooting down these kamikazes. And they did a pretty good job of it. They had, they had just, uh, you'd see one going down, uh, making a dive for one of our ships, and you'd see him shot down before he got there. <laughs>